Is it possible for prophecy to fail as a result of our disobedience? That's what we are going to look at. As we will be addressing another major prophecy of William Branham, known as the Brown Bear Vision. Coming home the other night, or the other day, or just before I come home, I was fell into a vision, and I seen some little fellas, thin, looked like young boys or something, had on caps, and we were standing hunting. And I'd shot a mammoth, big brown-looking bear. And then they turned around and said to me, said, um, but there's some confusion about the meeting. And I said, no matter what the confusion is, if I supposed to go wherever it was, I'll go anyhow. See, it doesn't matter. And the vision stopped. I don't know where that's at, but this is on tape. It's going to happen. Just remember, it's going to happen. It's a vision. A vision is thus saith the Lord according to William Branham. There's three elements that a man follows. First is humanistic. Second is divine revelation. Third is the vision which thus saith the Lord. Many of you remember the vision that I had where I had shot the grizzly bear, nine foot grizzly bear. And the church remembers me telling it here in the caribou. I had another member that's on tape here. I've seen a great huge brown bear. Yeah. That might be a Kodiak, and it wouldn't work now here in Canada because they're not there, you see. But wherever it will be, it'll be. It will be. That's thus saith the Lord. Yeah. It will be, you see. Now, I'm going back into a country that you might not want to come back next year. I'm going to get a brown bear. It's almost twice that size. You see if it's right or not. I've seen it when I'm standing, put my hands on his haunch and laying on the ground like that. And I just put my hands on his hips like that and then laying down. And you find out that's right or not. After claiming he foretold the shooting of a grizzly bear in 1961 on his hunting trip in Canada, Reverend Branham prophesied again that when he would return to the same country, in August of 1962, he would shoot a brown bear. He visited Canada, in August of 1962 for some meetings organized by Reverend Beeskill. These meetings were held in conjunction with the hunting trip. According to Reverend Beeskill's testimony, all the people on the hunting trip saw the brown bear, except for William Branham. William Branham claimed he was in the wrong spot. And he was not able to see the bear or shoot it. He wasn't even aware that his hunting colleagues saw the brown bear until they told him. It was the fourth day after the incident as they were about to leave, he asked Reverend Beeskill where they saw the bear. That is when William Branham went back into the woods either to pray or to look for it, but he came back empty-handed. Here is William Branham's explanation why the prophecy failed. So I, in these 30, going on 32 years of ministry, I have tried to stay true to the Word. I don't know one thing I've ever had to alter on, because I just read it out of the Bible, said just what the Bible says, and let it go like that. And so I haven't had to take back or rearrange because I just said it the way that the Bible says it. The following quote changes that assertion. Listen. I'd like to read you a prophecy that was given. I got on, uh, and many, by the way, Mr. Mercer, and many of them are going to take some of these old prophecies and dig them out and revise them a little or bring them up to date uh, and put them in papers. Did William Branham revise prophecies? Unfortunately, yes. If you pay close attention, there are many prophecies of William Branham that were altered or revised in the books and in his tapes whenever they failed to come to pass or didn't fit the narrative that he was a prophet. And please do not brush it off by using the term progressive revelation. This is serious. Modification of prophecies according to the scriptures is consequential. Here are three examples of prophecy alterations. The Africa prophecy, which we covered in the first video presentation. He said the vision told him to go to Africa first, then Africa changed into India. And the India changed into Africa again, 
and still, the vision failed. The vision of the blast. It looked like in the form of a pyramid, like uh, two on each side with one at the top, came five of the mightiest angels I ever seen in my life. Five mighty angels changed into a constellation of seven angels. And those blasting the other morning, it shook me, plumped when I raised up in the air as high as this building. That constellation of angels, seven angels in the form of a pyramid. The point is, he rearranged the vision to fit the narrative that he was a prophet. The prophecy of President F.D. Roosevelt leading the world to war, was revised to Adolf Hitler. How is that even possible? The list of alterations and rearrangement of visions goes on and on. I had to mention all that, for you to see, the gravity of what we are facing here. Now, let's continue to hear his explanation why the brown bear vision failed. I find out. If God has spoken anything, then we must go with that word in order to make it be fulfilled. Amen. We've seen that, as I told you last night, I have a vision just recently, see, that it, I had to be there and warning to be there and telling me six months before to be on that spot and standing there and saying, go down there three times with them. And I just walked on with the other man and the vision passed right through exactly God's heart. I was there standing. He said the vision failed because of disobedience to the word. Many of his followers say the same thing. Would they excuse Joseph Smith, Charles T. Russell, Herbert Armstrong, or any other church leader for failed prophecies? Listen to this again. And I took four outstanding prophecies of Jehovah Witness and showed him that none of them had come to pass. Every one of them failed. If four failed prophecies were grounds enough to persuade someone to leave a religious group, let's be truthful for a minute. Isn't William Branham supposed to be held to the same standard? The brown bear vision is the fourth failed prophecy in these video series. That is very serious, because they're people who still believe that their salvation is tied to his name. When the vision failed, he said he was the Jonah among the group. Listen carefully. When the word of God was given to the prophet Jonah it could not be taken back, or altered. Though he tried to go to Tarshish, the power of God provided the means that made Jonah to be in Nineveh. The argument that the brown bear vision failed because William Branham was in a wrong spot, is absolutely invalid. If God said it, he will also create the circumstances to make it happen. Do we have to limit the power of God, just to prove that William Branham was a prophet? God forbid. They reinforce this idea by also saying, God said he would destroy Nineveh in 40 days, but he changed his mind. And just like Jonah, the conditions had to be just right for the brown bear vision to be fulfilled. However, if you study the Bible you will see that the book of Jonah, Jeremiah, Zechariah, and some other prophetic books in the Bible. These books fall under the class of prophetic calls to repentance. These prophets were raised to point people back to God, by reminding them about the statutes and judgments of God. It is evident if anyone truly repents God forgives, but it does not mean God is changing his mind or altering his word. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us ward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. The brown bear vision, was not a prophetic call to repentance or salvation. Rather, it was a failed attempt to vindicate William Branham as a prophet. This brings us to the next point. There is a distinction between a prophecy and a command. Though they are both classified as the word of the Lord. A command, or a commandment. According to the Bible is an order or charge given by God, to show people how to love him, 
and how to love one another. There are many stories where people broke or disobeyed these commandments. How be it, when we are talking about prophecy? A prophecy is a prediction of future occurrences. This is the basic essence and foundation of a prophet or seer, they see things that should happen and tell the people about them. If they speak in the Lord's name, which is thus saith the Lord, it has to take place. Whether they choose to obey or not. Even if they're in the wrong spot, God has the power to position them right where they need to be. For the sole purpose of fulfilling his unfailing word. The vision of the brown bear was a prophecy, it was not a commandment that could be disobeyed. You may say it happened because Reverend Beeskill and the others saw the brown bear. It doesn't matter if the other people saw it. The fulfillment of the vision was based on Brother Branham seeing it, and shooting it, that includes touching the hunches and the hips of the bear. That is pretty detailed. Did he try to make this right? Listen. My hands, Lord, up. What will I do? Now, Father, I've got many things that I do wrong. I've just confessed my sin this morning before the church, as I confessed it to you on top of the mountain the other morning when it was blowing and snowing and up there on top of the mountain. How I cried out and asked you to forgive me for my stupidity and how I dreaded to come before my brethren, who some of them regard me as your prophet servant. And Lord, how I hated to come to before them and tell them of a stupid act that I would do a thing like that. But God, it's good for my soul that I confess my sins and not hide them. So to be honest with you and right before the people, I have confessed it, Lord. I'm wrong. I'm altogether wrong. I pray forgiveness. I believe God forgives. However, this is quite alarming. Tell me why. Why would William Branham make claims like these, knowing very well that he had failed visions? And to this time, neither has the vision ever been wrong, because it's been according to the Word. Not one word has the Lord ever spoke. I'll ask any of you, has he ever heard him say anything that he's ever told me to tell you about what come to pass just exactly? If that's right, say amen. amen. Exactly. Never has it failed one time. What about the brown bear vision? and many other visions we can bring to your attention. How could he forget? To justify their belief in William Branham, his believers say the whole situation does not make them think less of him. But does that give them a right to think less of the Bible? What does the Bible say about failed prophecies, and those who give them? When a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, if the thing does not happen or come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord has not spoken, the prophet has spoken it presumptuously, you shall not be afraid of him. I beseech you, saints of God to believe wholeheartedly in the Bible. What is the purpose of bringing this out? What is our motive? Our motive is to point people back, to a living God. Your salvation rests in believing only in the Lord Jesus Christ, not in any other man. There is only one Savior. Let these scriptures be proclaimed, over the mountains, over the hills, and down in the valleys. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent.